Yeah, guys, welcome back to the Dark Eye. This is the Phantom Safety Pin. And, uh, last time, we just got buried alive. So, let's not do that anymore. Let's not get buried alive. But let's see what our uncle's painting. Uh, he should have painted the one thing already. Unless he's still with the, with the, uh, creepy pliers. I hope he's not with the creepy pliers. I really do hope so. Still those creepy pliers. Man, what is up with those pliers? What is up with our uncle painting these things that all are relating to our nightmares? Why does he do that? Why is he behaving in such a weird way? He's beginning to freak me out. Just bitty bitty bit. Maybe it's not our fault. Maybe it's not his fault, but still. Let's see. I hope Elise really did awake. Otherwise, you never know. Oh no. Oh no. determined to place my dear niece in the lower vault. The ground outside is far too marshy this time of year for a proper burial. All right. Please light the way. Oh, I don't want to, but I guess I have to. Hmm. This story right here that we're playing through in the real world of the game is very much based on uh, Fall of the House of Usher, I've noticed. Um, if any one of you have read that Poe story. If not, you should probably uh, give it a shot. Man, this is still pretty creepy. It's even creepier when you're playing it. I made my descent to the cellar. My companions with their dreadful burden just steps behind. We penetrated into the dank basement, the lantern pushing back the darkness. What I could see in the black floated before my eyes. My eyes themselves felt as though they had turned to ice, and now sat chill and spiked in my heavy skull. Yeah, you know, with all these weird dreams, it's... It's hard not to trust your eyes. Poor, poor Elise. Poor Henry. Poor me, living through all this. All I wanted to do was visit my- reflections haunted me until we reached the lower vault. We entered carefully and placed the coffin on two spindly wooden trestles set there for such a purpose. Our labor was without ceremony. Come now. Peace be with her. I can't bear to leave her here, all alone in the dark. Dear brother, do leave the lantern. Leave her a small source of light. We'll go back in the darkness. All right. I don't really want to leave the lantern here, but if you insist, bro. to do is visit my cousin and my brother and my uncle. That's all. Um. Ambers, seal the vault securely. Leave the key with me. Come, gentlemen. All right. May she rest in peace. Ironically, by the way. Not in the ironic Montresor way. Uh. What's going on? Something very odd. And it's coming from the vault.
it opens and she's gone. Huh. Guys, we have stumbled upon our first of a few bonus nightmares. We have two. This is the first, and it's very long, so, uh, I'm gonna actually start a new video for this one, and, uh, I will see you on the flip side.